We're in Lower Manhattan at Duane Park, where not only do they have burlesque shows and dinner, but inside I'll be interviewing Joey Harris. I grew up, you know, loving music and, and singing and writing and learning about the business, but growing up I always was looking at you know, music videos and studying people like Puff Daddy and um, Babyface and Ellie Reed. Sing it, sing it, sing it real fast. Love Jones. I gotta love Jones. I gotta love Jones. For you. Woo! Yes! <laughs> CEO of Joey Harris Inc. and Senior Vice President for Janet Jackson for the Nation. I grew up right here in New York City, Upper West Side, Central Park West, 96th Street. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay, so New York City kid, mm -hmm. born, raised. Born, raised. Uh, I went to school at Patrick Henry PS 171 right over the park. Okay. On the east, Upper East Side. But um, born and raised in New York City. Um, loved it ever since I was little. Um, <clears throat> we moved to Jersey um, when I was about seven or eight because my parents started having more kids, so we couldn't <laughs> all fit in the apartment. But um, I found my way back here for grad school at NYU. You're a music exec, industry person. I mean, we're talking Sony, we're talking Beyonce. Exactly, how do you manage to maneuver through you know the industry? Um, I think first, thanks to God, uh, thanks to my father, Joseph Fleming. He opened a lot of doors for me when I was 16. My first job at Sony at RCA Records working you know, for the head of marketing. That was my first time working at a label. Um, and so that was my introduction to the music industry where I learned so much. And then who are some artists that you've worked with or helped develop? Um, I've been blessed to work with, I would say my first projects were SWV, Tyrese. Okay. Um, and then after I left RCA at that time, then I went over to Columbia and Destiny's Child, Lauren Hill, Will Smith, Nas, Maxwell. Um, the roster was insane, Mary Mary. Um, <clears throat> it was kind of like an unreal situation working at marketing at that time. How was it from working with Destiny's Child to then being a consultant for Beyonce and her own label. Yeah, that, that was another amazing blessing. Um, just, you know, going back and forth, working with the camp um, throughout the years, um, through Music World, then through Parkwood. Um, I would say my, my associate, Jake McKim, and uh, Leanne, um, Callan, who was general manager, they asked me if I would come in and do development for Beyonce's, one of her first signed artists, Sophie Beam, and that was just a huge blessing to get that opportunity to develop Sophie with an amazing team and with Beyonce. So I was in charge of you know everything from developing the live show, you know who she was going to be presented to, and the core for that and the beautiful thing what Beyonce promotes is be who you are. Let's be as authentic as you are. So it wasn't a situation of I'm going to develop you into this person. It's like let's develop the best you. Let's figure out what's your message, who you are, what do you want to present to the world, and so that's what we worked on. And now you're working with Janet Jackson, Rhythm Nation, yes. as the SVP. Yes. How did that happen? crazy. <laughs> I still uh, pinch myself like, is this really happening? Had you um, always admired Janet? Janet was my my biggest inspiration, you know, okay. for, for going into the industry. I always studied her career and was just so inspired by, I like artists that stand for something and have a message. So the fact that she wasn't just an artist that was just singing about whatever or 
you know, just doing whatever. So he actually had a message that impacted the world and inspired people and saved lives. And so that's the type of artist and the type of company I like to be a part of.